up guys it's not gonna back with another freaking video and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the ohu uhu markers that I've been seeing a couple artists here on YouTube do so I will be joining the bandwagon and reviewing these markers I ordered them from Amazon this is not sponsored but if y'all watching sponsor me I want some free markers to give to my ghosties and so I could try them out I've been dying to find some other markers to use because y'all know Copic markers are expensive as hell and I just want to use markers again so I heard that these are pretty alright so I'm not opposed to some cheaper markers so I said hey let me order this so I got this off Amazon I think there were 40 markers for $20 wasn't that bad got prime came in two days it was lit it was a party but here we go Let's open up these markers. I like the little bag it came in, so I got somewhere to store these. And here are the colors we have in here. Look at the colors. Ooh, so I'm gonna swatch these colors for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new to this channel, hit that like button, subscribe, join the Ghost Kiss Gang, and let's get right on into reviewing these Ohu markers. Look, it came with a little 10% off special. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't really read that. I didn't really read any of that. I just wanted to get to the markers. So, <laughs> just to be honest. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, here are the markers. Yes, I'm so excited. I feel like I've been using markers in so long, being that my copics are all dry and the various inks are very, very, variously expensive. So, yeah. Your girl got her some cheaper markers. So, here is the marker. It has the same kind of build as a copic marker double-sided that this one doesn't have a brush side it has a bullet point uh that made me skeptical for buying them but i haven't had bullet point markers so i didn't have anything to back up my you know being bougie behind it so i was like you know what just buy it try it buy it try it buy it try it so it has like the gold ugh, silver writing on it and it has a number on the top and yeah, so here's a comparison of the Ohu, Ohu marker compared to the Copic sketch marker. It's pretty darn similar, not exactly the same, but pretty darn similar. I feel like most of these cheaper markers try to be like Copics or try to imitate Copics, but they don't, they don't really do a good job. It's not the same thing, but it's the same thing, but it's not the same thing. But yeah, so that was a comparison of a Copic marker compared to a Ohu marker and it has a bullet nib and it has the what is that nib called I don't know what that nib is called okay but it has that nib and <laughs> it has the color on the top and then it has the bullet nib that I was talking about that I was skeptical about because I never buy markers with this type of nib but I said let me try it they're only $20 let me see let me see if anything I can use these for orders or like just decorating things because I still like to get artsy you don't have to use expensive art supplies for everything in case you didn't know but yeah here's my sketchbook and we're going to do some swatches so at first I started off by organizing the colors so I wanted to see what kind of color ranges I had some medium to light some in between colors uh, I feel like I got a pretty pretty nice amount of markers to work with uh, this is only a 40 set by the way, so you know, I feel like it was good enough. There's a bunch of blues, a lot of blues, um, reds, purples, yellows, um, some pastels, so it was pretty alright. Um, uh, I can't complain, honestly, to be honest, I can't complain. But the price, like the price, for me the price is right for what it is, for the amount of colors. The price is too good, actually. <laughs> I was so tempted to get the 60 pack, but I wanted to try these to make sure they weren't a complete flop before getting a huge, huge pack. I mean, 40 is still a lot, but I think 40 is a good amount to like have to like keep to use for other miscellaneous small decoration projects and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just started organizing the markers and stuff. I did a little out view so you guys can see me organizing them to little. You know colors you know there wasn't much oranges in there but that was okay i don't use orange that much so here is i am right now i'm swatching these markers out for you guys um yes and i also went ahead and did a blending test for you guys so as you can see from the video i hope you guys enjoy that i thought it would be nice to include the swatches and a blending test i took two of my favorite um liners uh kuretake firm and kotatake fine liner to show you guys that these markers don't bleed on your expensive fine lining pens so you'll be good and then 
Oh, your girl was so lazy that she not did not feel like sketching. So I just basically did a freehand doodle. I mean, that's not against the rules, right? I, 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 it's pretty good, right? So I did a freehand doodle with my Kodotake firm, and I drew my OC Lyle. He is my little boo 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 boo. So I drew him, and yeah, I decided to color him with the markers so that I can show you guys. Um, the different types of colors they have and also how I can apply these markers to my art They are not copying markers, but I feel like these markers are actually pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie I actually like them. I actually like them. I think they're pretty pretty cool I think like I'm really really thinking about to buy some more of them, but I want to use them more before I buy more but there's like 80% chance right now that I'm actually gonna buy more of these markers and they come in this black little case and I'm like oh my god yes <laughs> This is just me fan arting about, fangirling about these goddamn markers because I feel like I just haven't had markers in the longest time and these markers are good. Especially if you're balling on a budget, these markers are good. They're pretty fucking good. Um, I can't, I don't really have much to complain about. I'm trying to find something to complain about. Um, oh yeah, there's one thing. They don't really have as, uh, I feel like they need to put more, um, skin tones in there. I probably didn't get the skin tones, a lot of skin tones because of the pack I got maybe, but I think what have made this, what would have made this even better for me if they had skin tones. I had to use a Copic to shade the skin because I just have to shade the skin. So that was like my only like small, but not really a complaint that I didn't get any skin tones in this. I mean, there was one flesh tone, but... But it was not much I could do with that, so that was the only like semi issue with the markers. Other than that, everything was good. Um, the blend tests really surprised me. I'm not gonna lie, the blending and shading, the blending and the the line art tests surprised me. I didn't expect these markers to blend as blend into each other as well, and I just have to say that the ink in these markers are pretty darn good. I think the ink, I don't know, like. These are some good markers, some good cheap markers, like, for $20? I don't think it gets any better than this. <laughs> so if you guys want to get some of these markers, they're on Amazon, just search up O, O, who, who. And yeah, I think you guys should try this, especially if you are, you're somebody who's like wants to get into marker. I feel like these are good beginner art supplies to use. And I think you can make some really, really cool illustrations out of them, to be honest. Like, I think that you can make some really, really cool things with them. So, I would go for it, you know. That's just my recommendation. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to make it cool <laughs> and talk through the whole video. Because some of you guys might be like, Nico, stop posting videos without the damn freaking voiceover. It's boring as hell. <laughs> okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. I hope this video wasn't too long. I'll try to make it nice and simple and, you know, to the point. Um, yeah. So, if you like this video, I hope you guys hit that like button, subscribe, join the Ghost Kiss gang. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Neko. I make our videos here on YouTube. And, um, yeah. I'm just here to give you guys information and have fun and just post what I want. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little spontaneous monday upload and i hope you guys enjoyed my little illustration of lyle be sure to follow me on my social medias at party neko my instagram at party neko p-a-r-t-i-i-n-e-k-o party neko on instagram the party cat so that you can keep up with the things i do when i'm not posting on here and i hope you guys enjoyed the video hit that like button subscribe join the ghost kiss gang if anything and yeah leave me suggestions down below for other types of videos that you want to see me do or if there's any kind of markers that you guys want me to review from amazon or any of the cheap you know um inexpensive markers that you guys want me to buy and try i will try i feel like i should create a series on here where i try out cheaper art supplies and show you guys that you don't need to buy the most expensive art supplies to make good art so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna head out now. I'll see you guys in my next freaking video. Enjoy. Have a great day. Bye.